Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm here with my iMac G5 and some of you with eager eyes may have realised that down here I have a Kingston 120GB SSD and I also have two sticks of RAM. These are two 1GB sticks and they are PC3200 running at 400MHz. So, slow as heck, but installing these in the iMac will bring us up to the max 2GB. So let's get in this thing, shall we? And I have my tools over here at the ready. So I'm pretty sure what needs to be done is you flip this on its front. Apologies for the poor lighting, guys. I'm filming in a very dimly lit room. It looks like this stubby thing might be the guy for the job. So there are a few screws along the bottom here. So I'll just get in and start unscrewing those. All right, it looks like that's it. And I believe we're able to just pull the back off. Oh, there we go, easy. I've never seen the inside of one of these before and it looks to be in pretty decent condition. There's a common problem with these iMac G5s where the capacitors will bulge and burst, but it actually looks like most of them, if not all of them, are okay. I'm gonna guess the big G5 logo is where the processor is underneath and it is pretty hot, so I may repaste that if I can be bothered. First off, I'll get the RAM installed, so I'll remove this single 512 gig stick. Okay, that was strange. But here's the 512 meg stick and I'll probably sell that on eBay. I know that's that's not a technical way to clear air, but, <laughs> but let, let, let's see how we go. Needs a bit of force. Yep, there we go. Ah, oh, I should have probably installed the back one first. And here is the hard disk. I'll spin him around so you can see better. So it looks like the actual drive is held in with Torx screws for some reason, but then we also have these Phillips screws here. I'll remove the Phillips screws first, and I'm hoping this should just lift right out. And it does? Potentially? Maybe? Please? I don't want to be too violent with it, guys. I think it may just be the SATA power and data cable. So those are removed, yeah, okay. And there's a little temperature sensor on that drive as well. All the Apple drives I've ever seen actually do have a little Apple branding mark on there, which I find quite interesting. So we can see this is a Western Digital Caviar drive. The drive isn't super slow, so I could have just left it in here, but another reason I'm replacing it is not only for speed, but for heat. So we still have this little sensor on the side of the drive here, so I'm gonna take this off, put it back in, and just kind of let it dangle in there. And honestly, I don't care if that just sits a bit loose in there. I'll take this Kingston 120 gig SSD and plug it in. Probably should have done that other cable first. I may just attach a single screw from the SSD to this bracket, but we'll see how we go. It's not going anywhere. There's no moving parts. Honestly, this is kind of my style with these things. I don't really care how it sits. I'm going to reassemble this thing. I'll put a screw in the side of the SSD here so it doesn't flap around too much. But then I'll get it switched back on, install Tiger, install Leopard, delete Tiger, and I'll be back to show you the result. Well, that's not a great sign. It's not recognizing the SSD in the Tiger installer, and even when I go into terminal and try disk util list, it doesn't come up. So I'm gonna go back into this thing and try and format it from another machine and see if that fixes it. Oh man, even after formatting it on my MacBook Pro, um, it's still not there. Okay, so that sucks. I've had to take out the SATA SSD and put in the old hard drive. Reason being is that through anecdotal evidence online, I've learned that the iMac G5s do not cope well with modern SATA SSDs at all. So this is either a SATA 2 or SATA 3 SSD, and the iMac G5 has a SATA 1 interface. And instead of just throttling to SATA 1 speed, it just doesn't detect it at all. It's something to do with the controller. So they all drive back in, which is sad, but it's not a horrible drive, so we'll just deal with it. I might buy a SATA 1 SSD in the future. So I'm back into Leopard on the original hard disk, and it looks like the RAM upgrade was a success. If we go into more info here and into memory, we can see two one gig sticks, and they're the PC3200s. I thought I'd just show you what's in my dock at the moment so you can get an idea of what I've been up to. And this one here that you can't see very well is Open Arena. I did install a temperature monitor and it's sitting at 63, 64 now, 64 degrees idle, which is pretty terrible. So we'll definitely be doing a repaste. Although now that I look, the CPU usage is at 92%. Now why is it having such a hard time? Oh, it's indexing again, that might be it. Let's confirm that. Let's see what's using the CPU. Um, nothing? Okay, well, it's sitting at full 100% usage, which explains the temperature, so it's not at idle, so maybe I don't need to worry about the repost. I'll give it that seven minutes and see if it calms down. So what are my plans for this machine then? Well, it's going to be kind of a digital life computer, so what I mean by that is I'm going to be syncing my iPod Classic with it, I'm going to be doing some photo editing, some light video projects, some really light video projects, some web design, so creative stuff mainly. 
and also because of the higher end GPU we'll be playing some games as well. So of course I forget to film the outro, I'm currently recording this on the terrible eyesight in my MacBook Pro. That's all for today's video, I hope you enjoyed watching it, apologies we didn't have much luck with the SSD upgrade, I also couldn't be bothered to do the repaste because you've got to take everything out of there and it just sounded like a pain. The next video will either be testing out a few games or testing out iTunes, doing some syncing and setting up the iTunes library and maybe time machine backups, that sort of thing. So let me know which one of those you would prefer to see. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.